Today, we're gonna to learn how to control LED light strips in Home Assistant. We'll be using a script that I created to flash lights and I use this in my home security system. This LED light strip here is from the guys at Ajax Online. A link will be in the description below if you guys wanna check it out, but they've given this to me for the purpose of this video. To do this project, you're gonna need Home Assistant up and running, a Combi 2 stick connected up, and the ZHA integration is the integration that I'm using that I'm gonna show you in this video. If you're unsure about these things, I'm gonna leave a video somewhere around here where you can go and check that out and understand how you can control the Zigbee devices. Now let's roll the intro. Now in the Home Assistant, scroll down, go to your configuration, scroll down again and open up the integrations tab. If you see something like this at the bottom, Zigbee Home Automation, I have several devices and entities. If you click on the devices, you can see that I have this light strip over here, but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna reset it to the default settings. I'll be confirming it with you. Now to reset these LED light strips, just turn on, turn off for like five or 10 times until it's actually flashing. So when, it, when you get it out of the box, it will just flash by default. So what I would advise you to do is set it up now at your desk before you actually put it uh, wherever you need to put it. Let's click add device. Now it's searching for the Zigbee device and it's actually found it. So it's good news. So the device is ready to use. Now let's, let me just pop this over here and let's configure this. First thing to do is to change the device name and put it with a actual name that's gonna make sense to you. Now let's assume you want to put this in the living room and this is gonna be under your sofa, like I showed you in my previous video. What I would do is I would just go and rename this to living room sofa. LED. In the area, you can pick your living room. So now that's all done. Now go back here and you should go and find it. Click on entities. Now let's leave the entity ID as it is, living so far LED light color on and off. We can sort of leave that as it is. What I would do at this stage, I would just change this name to something a little bit more appealing. So in names, we want to do, use uppercase and spacing. So I decided to call it something like this, so far LED light strip. So once we're all done, click update. Now we have the settings. So already immediately from here, you can see the light is on, you can turn it off and you can turn it on. You can click on it and you can change the settings again if you need to. And you can click on add to Lovelace to add it to a dashboard. In alternative, you can just go to the dashboard itself, edit dashboard, add card. You can use something like light. Now search for light dot and look for your LED light strip. So we've got over here, living so far, this long name over here. And here we can have got more and more control. So let me just save this. We can turn it off, turn it on from here, change the brightness level of it like so. Three dots will allow you to change the color. So we can change all sorts of colors, green. We can apply some effects so we can do a color loop. So this will gradually change colors. As you can see, it's going through a cycle. Now let me show you the actual script that I created to flash these lights. To create scripts, you've got two options. You can either do it in YAML or you can do it in the UI. Click on the pencil here to edit the script. Scroll down, go to sequence. In action type, select repeat. And I'm doing repeat type while. So what I'm doing in my example, I'm saying while the alarm panel is actually triggered, then I want this to continue. So that's why we have a repeat while, and it will stop doing this as soon as the alarm panel is no longer in the triggered mode. And also a condition template, we have a repeat index. So these are the amount of times that the light is going to flash. And there's a limit that I've set to 500. So I actually only want the lights to flash only 500 times. Now let me show you how you can create your own script for flashing lights. So click on add script. Give your script a name. So we're flashing the lights uh, 10 times. In sequence, action type, pick repeat. Repeat type, we can leave it to count and we can say uh, 10. Now this will depend if the count starts at zero or if the count starts at one. Then we're going to be doing the what is going to be repeated, which is the action. So the action is we are going to turn on our uh, LED light strip. So what we will do is we're going to go to called service. So I'm going to be selecting light toggle, pick the entity, the light strip that we are going to be using. Color name, we can put 
whatever color you want, let's say red. We want to set the brightness value right up to 255. I'm going to save this script. I will add a delay and let's add a delay of a second. Save the script. Now this will start flashing at uh, interval. So let's run it. And you can see this is flashing. So you could use this also for like some Christmas lights or or something like that as, as you wish really. Now what we can do also is that if, let's say once this actually finished flashing, we want these lights to be off. So we want it always to end uh, off. What we would do is add action right here at the bottom, not this one in the loop. And at the end, we can just say call service, light turn off. And what we will do is add the sofa LED light strip and save. So if we can run the script again, it will start flashing. Turning on is one loop and turning off is another. So it actually physically turns on only five times. And at the end, it finishes off. You could change this to anything you want, finish it on, finish it blue, whatever you like. If you got value out of this video, then remember to like it, subscribe to the channel to be notified as soon as the latest video drops. So I'm gonna leave you here a couple of other videos. Learn more about lighting and home assistant over here. And over here, find out seven useful places for LED light strips. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment description below what you thought about it. This was Geo from Smart Home Makers. See ya, peace.